groups that are um, often marginal to the power structures of society, they struggle with visibility, with having their voices heard. Um, but they are also at the same time concerned with uh, people's relation to the environment. And so, um, yeah, I thought we have a lot of insights that we can bring from anthropology to the wider public. So, and uh, apart from our shared interest in tackling these issues, um, there was um, another drive to this project, which uh, has something to do with uh, what my uh, colleagues already talked about, uh, the lack of visibility of anthropology, and the fact that it's confined to the academic realm, um, so the public knows little about it. Um, for instance, in Romania, and this is connected in Romania, most, of course, let's say, um, you can see this by looking at the number of universities that teach anthropology. There are like three universities in the whole country, and you have around 10 programs, uh, including bachelor, master's, and doctoral programs. And I had a look uh, at the UK, for instance, a few years ago, and the, the statistics there were that they have um, 35 universities where anthropology is taught, and uh, over 170 programs that teach anthropology. Um, so, yeah, one, one consequence is that many people who are passionate about this field in Romania, they go and they study abroad, they come and, and luckily they, they return, and so there we have a small academic community where people are really um, well trained and uh, prepared, and so I always wanted the work that we do to, to reach a wider audience and to be better known and this uh, led to the idea of creating a platform this is the, the mother project of Antwerp Arts um, it's an initiative that started uh, in two years ago uh, and we created a platform where um, articles inspired by academic work written by academics but they are written in a uh, accessible um, way to the public they are illustrated by artists um, also recorded by actors, so basically the same template that you will find in Antwerp uh, was tested first in the in, with Spatula Academy, and uh, the platform grew quite uh, quite big, and we have already 100 articles um, and collaborations with 70 researchers and 51 artists. Um, so. This was also the catalyst for meeting, um, meet the meeting with Namla because uh, Corina sent me a message after we launched the uh, Spectral Academy um, on LinkedIn and um, I think I just replied very briefly at that point. I didn't uh, connect more with, with, with her. But two years later when I was searching for a partner for, uh, for this new project, and uh, I just randomly saw that message again and I said, oh, but who, who wrote? And then I checked her profile and I saw all the amazing work she's, she's, she's been doing and her podcast, The Human Show, and I saw that we, are, we share a lot of uh, common interests. And uh, yeah, we got in, I got in touch and she, she was uh, really open and happy about the project idea, but she said, look, but we, we do boot camps, we could bring something new uh, because the initial idea was just to replicate the Romanian platform but it's great that we got to, to do it in a more complex way and we, we have this uh, really applied uh, component and live interactions and I think it, it um, grew our project, it, it made our project grow very well and um, as uh, Daniel said uh, we were part of a network, an international anthropologist network uh, and there was a meeting in that network and I just uh, presented the idea of the project and I asked if anyone wants to join and then uh, uh, this is how Ambigama uh, joined. Um, and this is a timeline uh, of what we did. We had, after making this, I realized that it was quite a full year and we were really busy. And all of this was done uh, by like email and Zoom, because this is actually the first time that we are all together in the same physical space. Um, so I think it's an achievement. Um, we 
had four food camps. We already know that. We had uh, two exhibitions. One is coming up in December, um, and we launched the platform, and uh, we had a call for contributions. Uh, this is a platform, I think. So for the platform, we collaborated with the artist uh, Andrea Pirica, um, who so we wanted to give it a very artistic feel. Um, so rather than going straight to a web designer, we first uh, worked with, uh, with illustrator, with illustrator. I cannot open the website unfortunately, but I think you know it or you can easily find the link and access it.
Um, in terms of impact and uh, like numbers, this is what we will have by the end of the year. Um, the translated articles, transcript of academic, there will be another four to six new articles in total. Uh, 19 are already online and 17 are uh, being prepared. Uh, this means that we connected 46 uh, authors and artists together. We also gave like the explorer for 54 authors um, and for 50 artists as well. And um, the activation of 46 researchers and artists in through boot camps and through like face-to-face -face collaborations or um, and finally, uh, what is the value of connecting anthropology and art? Um, this is the, about, I think it's about discovering alternative ways of conveying meaning and insight. Um, so after launching the first edition of the Romanian project, I asked uh, for feedback from uh, the authors that and um, later I received a lot of feedback also through emails and conversations. So um, a few few ideas of, uh, and a few things seem to stand out. Um, that first of all, um, academics are uh, are really happy to have to see their work exposed, interpreted, communicated in a visual form, and uh, communicated through different means, uh, audio and visual. Uh, the platforms became a resource for students as well, especially those in the first year. Um, it became a sort of networking and several authors and artists found jobs or collaborate, collaborations through the platform. Um, also, the feedback we, did, we get from artists is that for them it's also a very interesting experience. They are, for most of them, it's the first time interacting with an anthropology text. So they are uh, quite impressed in the quantity of detail and uh, the inspiration that it can provide. Um, and um, here I should say that artists and uh, illustrators are connected, artists and authors are connected through a process of feedback. So in the creation of these illustrations, in the beginning, uh, artists send us a sketch that we send to the author and then we put them in touch with each other so they can, um, yeah, they can discuss and there were a few occasions when maybe the interpretation of the artist didn't fit with what the author expected and they, they, they had a um, process of adjusting and, and um, that was also interesting to, to follow. Um, and we even had friendships between anthropologists and artists emerging during the boot camps. Um, and also somebody else pointed out that there are um, connections across generations now because um, many of the academics that say are over 40s or in their 40s or 50s and we have artists who are often younger than in their 20s and they start to get into dialogue and and finally, going back to the funding scheme that I described, um, I think that for those working on inclusion, maybe cultural funds might not be the place to go where you search for support for your project. But um, I say that they, they can provide a tool and maybe they should be taken into account. And also what we aim to do with this project is to the temp to leave the template somewhere like in the Creative Commons, so if anyone wants to replicate it or use any of the models or ways of doing things uh, in other projects, we are happy that it, uh, if it grows and spreads. Yeah, thank you very much. And now um, I think we have uh, yeah we have an artistic exposure break in which we invite you to. <laughs> Check out the art, uh, have a coffee. Um, we, we have a short clip from one of the boot camps. In the Romanian boot camp, we had an actor and a performer slash uh, uh, anthropologist who created a sketch. It's a like, five minutes uh, sketch about uh, inclusion, uh, satire. So I was thinking to play it now before the break. <coughs>